What's Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with a hair like blood. The Outlander from the Embassy. You killed Greta. Regala's champion. He was one of ours. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It gets harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer's coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Hearts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. It means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. Well, I must be dehydrated. What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First Sawtooths, then Ravagers. Now, a sandblasted Thunderjaw. Hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. Had to leave half my hunters behind to fend it off. Only survivors are the ones you see here. I heard him calling you Chaplain. What does that mean? It means I've survived our youth and outlived my brethren in many battles. As such, I counsel the Desert Clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> you knew Regala's champion, Gruda. He was one of ours. So was Regala. Desert Clan's pride and joy. Why is she attacking her own people? She feels betrayed. Regala was a legend among our clan, fearless and unrelenting. A marshal to Hikaru, chief of all Tanakh. His judgment made flesh. What changed? The Karja king asked for peace, and Hikaru agreed. Regala wanted payment in kind for the atrocities the Karja committed. A Tanakh empire that would push into the east. So she challenged Hikaru's decision. He had no choice but to face her in combat. Hikaru won. She should have died by his hand then, but the chief let her live. For Tanakh, that kind of mercy is a bitter drink. Now that she rides machines and murders marshals, we might not be able to ignore her camps in the desert for much longer. No one in the desert plans touching those camps. This is between Regala and Hikaru. If the chief's strong enough to lead, he'll prevail. If he doesn't, He'll make way for one who is. That's a little harsh, isn't it? So is the desert. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I have something to take care of first. You go on ahead. I'll wait at the outpost for as long as I can. May the Ten protect you then. I'll await your return and report to the capital.
Yeah, you do that. To get the best benefit from that, you need to time it right. How that ready for the right moment? Okay. But you should know that I got some new classes in the last one to the hotel. Well, good thing I have a little something called strategy. Talk yourself up all you want. I've heard of you, Outlander. I saw you trade. You're excellent. Ah! Ah! War might have gone against Regala, but this is the battle that counts. Could you imagine that?
If you think you've got what it takes to beat me at strike, step right up. This will break my fall. sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Everything's sticking. Ah, oh, damn this heat. Came. I'm touched. You'll have to excuse the mess. 
Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon and harvesting parts. Feel free to take any supplies you need. Our prey isn't far. I'm right behind you. This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. Our so-called commander's always talking about how scarce the water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spear is dying of thirst? Or her own squad? Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to fight tooth and nail. And I'm guessing that someone is you? Make sure everyone gets all the water they need. No matter what village they're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'd be able to fix that somehow. There's always a way. here. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in and pick him off. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow. <laughs> 